Hey, boob tubers. <clears throat> so, seeing everybody do this uh, dark and tan thing, I guess uh, Dan's Dan from F it. I guess he, I guess he started it or something. I'm not sure. I saw Tony Yates do it today, and I also saw um, Nate and Elder P do theirs. I tried to do it with mine. I just got home from work, so I'm kind of kind of press a little bit just to get the um, the the homebrew Wednesday done. So yeah, I just got in the door. Um, I wanted to show you something. This is my dedication brew for um, Paul Wicksteed. And it's, uh, it's a little hazy, but I don't care. It uh, came out really good. Came out to 6.7% uh, uh, alcohol by volume. Um, this melon is very fruity. It's got a good bite to it. I have to, what I'll do is I'll uh, I'll post the the ingredients on on using the hop schedule and the hops I use and all and the yeast and all that. So it came out really good. If I if I let it set, it'll it clear up. But I'll probably have this drunk in in no time. But yeah, cheers, guys. Black and tan didn't work. This is the porter that I made. This is the Baltic porter. I made it was a dedication brew to uh, my son Matthew for um, he's, he came home for the holidays he's back on post now but uh, this turned out really good really good coffee and chocolate notes in this cheers <laughs> it's got a little bit of the of the other other beer in it but you really it covers it pretty good it's pretty thick porter so. Look at that creamy head. I, I poured this guy about 10 minutes ago. Yeah, I had a huge head on this thing. You know, pour it the way women like it, right? Again, I'll go ahead and post the the ingredients on this guy that I did. And I do have homebrew um, related project that um, I've been working on. Um, it didn't take long to put together. I just uh, it took a while to get you know the lumber together and stuff to to knock this thing out but i'll i'll post post some pictures here and what we have here is uh the gravity system instead of using my kegerator uh a dresser sometimes a saw table with a a saw table with a piece of damn plywood on it to have my gravity system for when i'm sparging and and doing all that stuff, I went ahead and built a system that actually collapses in on itself. So it, um, when it's all folded up, said and done, it's the width of two, two by four. So you're you're talking, what is it? A two by four is actually what two and a half inches. So five inches that is either hang from uh, hang from hooks on the wall or whatever, and. Um, it came out pretty good, so I got to get some. I'll go ahead and post the stuff here. I I uh, got some shoddy uh, pictures of it. I don't want to go ahead. I don't want to post those, so I'm gonna go get some new ones and put it in the video. So, um, week's going good. I got a. I was uh, kind of promoted at work. Went into a position. It's lateral. It, it wasn't a raise or anything, but uh, now I'm uh, a dedicated engineer for a big company. So I'm. I guess they're happy with me at work. I've been there for almost four years, so uh, I'm a I've been a geek since I've been out of the military since uh, '93. Actually, before then, I was in the reserve, so I've been a geek since '89, '88, '88 or '89. Started on mainframe computers, but been doing the computer techno geeko stuff from uh, help desk to uh, network administration to server administration to actually being a manager for a company where I was the only IT person. That was fun. And usually things end up with layoffs. So that's the only downfall with IT is that uh, they like to take stuff offshore. And you tend to lose your job about every six years or so. So 
Um, it's a great industry to be in. It's just a matter of finding the right niche at the right time so you can get retirement. So hopefully this is the one. You know, my company's going through a little bit of little bit of hell, but uh, I think um, after this for, first quarter, things will start settling down. The company will get to the numbers that they need to be for for the support people that they have, and and we can move on from there. And um, I'm hoping that the position that I have, um, hope the position I have stays. So that's a little bit about me. So um, let's see. Anything else going on? Uh, I did buy ingredients for my next uh, brew. It's going to be an IPA. I'm going to do an Amarillo and Simcoe IPA. Um, just fiddling around, just throwing something together. It's not going to be a big beer. It's probably going to come out to just over 5%. I'm known to make uh, real high-gravity high beers. I don't know why. Um, probably because of the two-row I put in there um, and plus the efficiency I get. I get uh, good attenuation on my yeast. So, um, my average beer is like six and a half to uh, almost 7%. So, um, I'm really, uh, the, you know, the numbers are always higher when I, when I do my, my brew. So, um, when it comes to the alcohol, it's always up there. It's kind of cool though. Um, this was my first porter. I want to do a stout, but those are a little expensive. Like I want to do an oatmeal chocolate maple stout and i think i added up the ingredients for that and it was well over 55 almost 60 dollars to make a five gallon batch so um i will probably wait on that for a little bit or just go buy some ingredients and then the next time i get paid get uh, the rest of it and go ahead and do up a stout so cheers Boy, I'm rambling today, aren't I? Yeah, I had a really good Christmas and New Year's. I was on call the whole damn time, but it was nice and quiet. I think I only got two calls, and usually during uh, on call, I was getting, um, depending on the situations, you would get in between uh, four and five calls a week. We got uh, some another team that's on the other side of the world that help cover now. So we rarely get calls, but problem is, is over the new years and stuff, they celebrate it too. So we have to cover that again. So, and that was my last on call. So the only stuff I do after hours now is uh, for the company that I'm dedicated to. So that is awesome. I don't have to deal with that crap anymore. It's a pain. Um, had all the family home, spoiled the grandkids. Um, Christmas was really good. Um, New Year's, I mean, this year I'm hoping that uh, things look up for for everyone. You know, myself, my family, and you guys out there, and your families, and and what you're doing. I hope that uh, you have a very prosperous 2016. Um, I don't know, what else is going on? I think uh, the Brew Hut should be having their their buy. Let's see, they have every other month. I guess that, that would be considered bi monthly, um, where they have the homebrew night where they all get together and we all share our own uh, brew. So got to start getting ready for that. To look look at the calendar and see when that date is. And me and my uh, brew buddies at work will probably go uh, have a good time. At least Dan and myself. So. I really don't have anything else much more to post. I just wanted to uh, kind of show off, um, you know, everybody's showing off their uh, dedication brews. This is the one I did. I didn't do the supercharger and stuff. I couldn't afford the ingredients or get the right ingredients because they didn't have it, have the right hops and stuff here. So I didn't want to play, well, let's replace this and let's replace that. I went ahead and just did something that was, uh, you know, something to dedicate to Paul and uh, it came out, came out really good. So... I'm kind of two fisting it now, tonight. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. Enjoy yourself. Remember, rock on. And please like and subscribe down below. And if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them. I don't know how to do this. Should I say cheers with both? Hey, why not? Cheers, guys. Love you. See you online. See you on the next video. Like the talk. And though I held sweet drink a thousand times. Time to ramble on Need 
Yeah.